It's like those stressful situations maybe you were trying to not, not have, right? Just become those situations, but in a different environment, right? right? Instead of being, totally. having to be in the right. rat race or going to your nine to five job. Right. You're now. rat racing on the homestead, right? right. What's hey, up? it's Off Grid with Doug and Stacy on Lumen Acres channel. What's up, modern steaders? Oh yeah, modern steaders, that's right. We're the homestead homies today. That's right. We're here at the Mother Earth News Fair. Yeah, we got like the Icelandic chicks and we're gonna start hatching them and try to sell them a little bit. Yeah, that's totally spread cool. The, yeah. Spread the breed, you know. Yeah. I can't believe how much they forage. Yeah. Like they well, don't eat much want. food. Right, right. that's I mean, what you the want. Food yeah. consumption is so that's low. What, I mean, we open range all of our yeah, stuff. Yeah, because when you were saying that on your video, I thought, oh, that would be cool. Yeah. I wouldn't mind trying some of those. The yeah, eggs the are a little bit smaller. Right. But I don't care. We eat mostly duck eggs now, anyway. You do? Yeah. Do you get eggs from the geese? We don't have geese. We just have ducks. ducks. We just have yeah, yeah, a couple of No, we don't have any Donalds. You're confusing channels again. No, I thought you had a couple of geese <laughs> no. running around. No, just ducks. Yeah, just maybe the guinea hens. We have those. Okay. Yeah, we have the ducks and the chicken. Or no geese. You oh guys, gosh. what do you do with the sheep? Eat them. You do eat them. Yeah. yeah. Sell them. Pay our taxes with them. Perfect. Yeah. Actually, there's a college in Missouri that you can actually uh, pay your tuition with your livestock. You can do it all over. Lindenwood. Yeah. Really? You just. Whatever, I mean, you know, they market value for your cow or You your just bring your cow to the college well, and they'll give you market value. For well, it. they have a system set up at the uh, sale barn. So okay. you just take it you there can, go and to the school money too. goes right there. Yeah, you go to school yeah. and then you can you can also buy a car. You can do a lot of stuff in our town. Are you cold? It is oh kind my. of chilly. It's the shade. It's yeah. hotter inside. It is out there. Yeah. I know. All right, it's all you, man. I know, right? Hit it. Fresh is on. Let's go. Fresh is How on. do you start off your gig? We've enjoyed hanging out and uh, meeting you guys and it's always good when you can meet other YouTubers and just people in general, you know, that watch our channel or watch your channel, you know. And then just like-minded people that yeah. live in the life that we're trying to live and That's cultivate right. and Yeah, because most people we can't talk about chickens or anything yeah. like that, right? You yeah, know, and they're like, what are you, what? You're fermenting food? What? Right, That's right. when it goes yeah. bad. You want to eat that? Icelandic what? Yeah, Icelandic <laughs> what? Just go to the store and buy some chicken meat. Why do you want to raise them? Right. We, we really like your uh, chicken coop too, that the New York. Uh, the New York, York City. The New York City. Yeah. So you guys are gonna be going around the whole, doing the whole tour with Mother Earth News this year? Yeah, we'll be at all the Mother Earth News Fairs conferences from here on out. Uh, Pennsylvania, Oregon, Topeka, Kansas, Kansas and um, I think that's it. Pennsylvania. Right? Pennsylvania. Yeah. Which one's next? Um, Oregon in August. In August. Yeah. So you guys once so one a month? Is that how it works? Every other yeah, month. Yeah, they had one I think planned in Wisconsin in July, but they didn't They're not doing it. It's not yeah. yet. They're not doing okay. It. And I think Pennsylvania is the last one in the fall. Yeah. Nice. And then we'll be at the uh, Homesteaders of America Conference in Virginia, October 14th. And then, you know, we're working on a few other things. Oh, and the Heirloom Seed Expo for Baker Egg. Creek. That's oh, a three day. They have yeah. another one? Yeah. It's a oh, this three is the big day. one. It's this a big is the one. big one. A hundred yeah. speakers. Yeah. Oh, wow. And they've invited us to be speakers there. So that's pretty neat. So we're just um, jazzed up about it. You know, we just, our main goal is to like help get the word out about homesteading, you know, yep. um, make it popular again, I guess you could say, and just try to share our experience with everybody, just like you guys are. You know, we yeah. watch your channel and try to help inspire everybody. And that's think, right. I think it is thinking out of the box and right just challenging and changing the status and, and quo. sharing what works and what doesn't work right so people can maybe avoid the same mistakes that we made you know right. so we do share that with you guys um, like we started off plowing with a team of Belgians and an yep. 1800 style plow and now we're doing back to eating and raised beds because a lot of things that we talk about on our channel is like um, aging in place right so we want to teach people like if you're gonna homestead you want to put these systems in place and get it set up to where you can manage it as you get older right because we feel great now we can yeah. do lots of stuff. Well, while we're young, let's get all the hard work done. Right. Get the no, infrastructures it like that because, and the positioning. Yeah, because yeah. right. yeah, you know, it comes to a time where, especially in the heat and your garden and everything, you don't want to, you know, be out there yeah. doing all that work. So. Like last year, we did basically, we got set up with the pigs and the chickens, and then we didn't have time to do much of a garden because we were so busy. Right. And then this year now, we're, we got the pigs, the chickens, now we're concentrating, putting more raised right. bed gardens and right. getting that bigger. So every year, and that's the one thing with homesteading, you don't want to like expect too much, you know, right. you have to do like little steps, but then once your things are in place, then you got it really going on. Oh, yeah. 
that's like one of my big things. I'm always trying to get everything done. I go, I gotta get it done this minute. I heard a quote and I really like it is, we overestimate what we can get done in a year, yeah. but we underestimate how much we can do in five to 10 years. Right. right. You know, I think home saying that has a lot. It of is, because we look back now and you know, when we first moved, we took pictures, you know, of everything yep. at the beginning. And it's like, you think you didn't do anything. Yeah. And then the first year it's like, oh my gosh, we really did something. And then now we're like in the sixth year and I, we, we can't, some of the stuff, it doesn't look like anything when we first started and it's amazing what you can do. Yeah, because yeah. you guys moved there, there was no house, you built everything nothing. from scratch. Yeah. 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 And it's, um, you know, and, and as a homesteader too, you know, you're, you're, you're not really spending a lot of money to hire out the help, right? So you're doing things as you can. Like, yep. so, like I was building the greenhouse during the winter, but then the weather this and the things oh, yeah. that, and then I wasn't fully ready when spring got there, right? So you can't let that bother you and discourage you. So we just shrug it off. Let it go. We got let other go. stuff let done, and then we'll be ready in the fall with our um, greenhouse, you know? Except so. for my thing, I always say let it go, and I'm like, he's like, just let it go, leave the dishes there, leave the dishes there, and I have to go to bed with my dishes clean before I get, you know, get up you, in the morning. They're still there in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> so if you know, you know you gotta do them in the morning, right. and then morning dishes. She doesn't know there's a dish doing fairy that shows up if you just yeah, leave really. them. Yeah, really. Send them over to our house, too. You wake them up, and they'll be done. Yeah, nice. really, they need to come and visit more often. <laughs> But yeah, so I mean, you know, we really enjoy homesteading. We like sharing our adventures just like you guys do, you know. Yep. Um, and, you know, it's, I think it's a neat thing that we have the, in the 21st you know, century, like this time that we have to share these videos, to get the word out, and to, you know, bring the awareness to the whole, like, movement of homesteading. And you know what? I want to ask Olivia. Come here, Olivia. We want Come to here, Olivia. Ask you a question. So, I'm going to ask you, from your an eight-year-old perspective, what is your most favorite two things about homesteading and, and living like you do? The chickens. The chickens. Why do you like the chickens so much? Because they like eggs. Yeah. And do you like to eat the eggs? Mm -hmm. Okay. Which one's your favorite chicken? Yeah. Why? What did you get to do with them the other night? Feed them sunflower seeds. Out of your hand? Uh -huh. Yeah. They love that. Um, and the pigs. And why do you like the pigs? Because <laughs> Compost yeah, they work the land. They're workers. The land. They're workers. Good. Okay, good for you. So I got one quick question for you. Like we were just talking about, you're getting stressed out for trying to do everything way too quick and way too often. What What's like your number one suggestion to people when they're trying to work and get everything done? You have, like you said, the weather was bad in the winter. You were trying to get your greenhouse built and then... I know, it's like, we, we stretch out. I yeah. mean, we gotta get stressed yeah, out. I'm trying to get a project I done. I don't do that anymore. No, I mean, he's really good. When I was, um, like she it. does, but I don't. <laughs> so, you know, as a young man, I was more, it was more of a big deal to be um, goal oriented, you know, like gotta get it done, right. deadlines, commitments. But as I've gotten older and wiser, <laughs> um, uh, it's inch by inch makes it a cinch, yard by yard makes it hard. But if, if you don't sweat the small stuff, it's all small stuff, right? Right. So just we let I let it roll. She gets. I'm getting better. She. I'm working on it because her. it is it is hard because you know you want so much. You know it has to be done right now. Right. Oh, yeah, and we're always but into it can't that, be. you know immediate gratification. But yeah. you know it really you work toward it and it means yeah. so much more when you get to it. Yeah. But you know now like like if, in six going on six years I'm really seeing the fruits of our labor. Of and whose so, labor? <laughs> oh, you be quiet. Here, guys, if you watch our channel, you know I've always kind of said this, but the wife wants it, wants it, wants it. So if I put her off and then I kind of ease in a little bit later, it I'll makes it a it lot more. better. Yeah. So that's one of my. Thanks uh, for that great tip. That's one of my philosophies. <laughs> So um, yeah, it's just you know don't don't if you if you guys get burnt up and you're so like oh then that's gonna burn you out right so let that stuff learn how to let it roll off if you don't get it in this season get it in the fall get it next season just pace yourself especially if you're doing it like us like you know we're not hiring out a bunch of stuff we're not throwing money at a bunch of stuff I have to do it and work it and build it and so those are just good words of wisdom just don't if you let this stuff stress you out you're gonna have a Bad experience homesteading. You'll have high blood pressure and you won't be feeling well and it won't be worth it. And you won't get your uh, sleep and your circadian rhythm will be messed up. But that's a that's a main main point. For life in general. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. for anybody. Anything. Right. Right. That's yeah. a that's a general life tip. Yeah. I know I have a problem. Like if I got a project, I'm like I gotta get done by this time because the season's here. Like yeah. I gotta have the chickens. Or I gotta right. have the garden ready. And it's, right. Like you said you get stressed out. You mess up your sleep. You're not yeah. eating. Yeah. Right. You're not working yeah. as good as you were because right. now you're stressed up. You throw everything off. Not spending off. the right time with your daughter. Right. You know, and you're and when you do, you're agitated because you know you should be doing that other thing. Right. You're right. Yeah. So you gotta learn how to let that stuff go. Definitely. Yeah. It's, and it's yeah. hard. <laughs> it's hard because we've been programmed, you know, like that. You yeah. know what I mean? Definitely. And so, like, uh, especially like me, because I've been in that type of business and all that stuff we used to do. But so just to kind of take a deep breath and just let it go. Like that garden. I mean, we're, we got everything in, but I still have stuff right. to do when I get back. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, you're taking your time out of gardening right. season and planting season to come visit That's everybody right. and, and to yeah. hang out with the homestead homies and uh, and meet you guys and so you know we we do that stuff we love what we're doing but just if you take it too serious it's gonna burn you out right you know, that's right yeah. no it is it is just kind of you know to relax and because that's what it is a lot of home sitting too is just enjoying your life right you we know do you don't want to be a, right right you don't want to just be a total workaholic I mean you got to take that downtime and it's hard because really there's so much to do you can really it can oh, yeah. burn you out quick yeah. Yeah. and we're still gonna grow like a lot of our food right but just wait till like the fall time right we'll have our, our greenhouse will be in full swing our all of our systems will be in place for all of our we have our big reveal for a greenhouse yeah, that's and coming, and that's coming awesome. and yeah. Yeah. yeah and I'm gonna drone footage you guys she's gonna get balloons <laughs> and we're gonna have confetti fall we're gonna have a helicopter <laughs> drive over and drop confetti and we'll just have a good time you know that's another thing too guys just have fun with what you're doing right yeah Everything's not so serious all the time. And I think one of, the, one of the reasons we do homesteading is so we can have more time and, right. and have more quality time with our family. But right. when we right. get in it sometimes, I think right. we kind of get wrapped up right. and we forget the and, bigger picture. Right, and then it's like those stressful situations maybe you were trying to not, not have, right? Just become those situations but in a different environment, right? right? Instead of being, totally. having to be in the right. rat race or going to your nine to five job. Right. You're now, rat racing on the homestead, right. right. So what is your favorite thing about homesteading? My favorite. Best thing it should be, but the tractor. I like the tractor <laughs> in the garden. Right. It yeah. was that song. You think my tractor sexy? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Except for when I break it, but that's yeah. okay. It's a learning curve. That's yeah. right. And he doesn't get mad, does he? No. He has a lot of patience with me. Yeah. I do. I get mad as heck. <laughs> I think the worst part is when they, she really didn't break it, she just jacked the e-brake on so the lever got stuck underneath, but oh, like, I'm right. trying to get so much done, but just stop, relax, this is supposed right. to be fun. Right. I'm just, being safe, the brake on. That's right. right. <laughs> yeah. As men though, it's just, it's hard like that, you know right. what I mean? I think, like I said, we get tunnel vision, we get right. focused on doing whatever we're doing, we forget to stop, right. relax, breathe. Yeah, we, we, someone needs to do that, just like, we need like, Counseling for men and women who homestead. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right? No because offense. women do things differently than the men do. Well, that's how anything, you know, this is how it is. That's, you know. I know, I'm just being funny. I know. <laughs> you mean trying to be funny. Yeah. Right. But yeah, it's been a, it's a great show. There's a lot of people here. I'm surprised how much is here. We ran into one of the subscribers. We were talking to him, and he was like, "I feel like I'm at Disney World. I don't know where to go first." Yeah, there are right. some really cool, really good speakers. Awesome. Yeah. So it's a, it's a good time. If if so, if you know, if one of these fairs is in your area or close by where you guys are at, maybe you want to take some time out, um, go get some education. There's good speakers. A lot of hands-on things too, like. Um, Stuff you can use for your homestead, you know, uh, tools, uh, machines, yeah. you know, if you're into that kind of stuff. So, which is nice, they have the Lucas sawmill and the Woodmiser sawmill so, side by side right, right there. You can check so, you out. can compare yeah. both of them and see. That's valuable stuff. Lots of fermenting things. I'm excited about that. Awesome. They have like Play essential crocs. oils yeah. and yeah, the that, dude, that guy them. next to us, did you see his stuff too? He had like Nobody. a stone mug. Yeah, we just, the guy the, the, and, made out of soapstone. Made out of yeah. soapstone. And he makes, oh, they're really cool. There's mugs and then ice. food wear and everything. No, no, but he gave us these. It's soapstone ice cube. Oh, right. You put it in the freezer, and he said you can put it in your milk, you can put it in like whatever drink. Right. It doesn't Keep taste the cold. flavor. Right. right. So you can just add it to different drinks that doesn't water it down. So that's kind of yeah. interesting. But yeah, I would say if we tra travel two hours from here, I would, after being here, I'd probably travel four, six hours and make a weekend trip on it. There's yeah. a lot to Because there's a lot in. of people that contacted us who are camping. Who came yeah. and camping. And there's some people too who drove 10, 12 hours, you know. I so. think it's worth it. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot to offer. You get yeah. to meet off here with Doug and Stacy. I mean, that, that alone right there. And we're flattered by that. I mean, 
you know, the people take time out of their days and lives and travel around and maybe want to meet us or meet loom makers or, you know, just come hang out and, and just get the education too. I mean, that's big time. It's, it shows you guys are vested in it and you're taking it serious and you want to learn. A lot of stuff has been forgotten because of the way we've been programmed as a society. And so to get back to where we're supposed to be, that's why the government fights it. You know what I mean? They don't want you to live this self-sufficient life. It skipped generation. There's a lot of right. It's like what our great, your grandparents maybe skipped it, not right. great grandparents. And it's like I know when I talk to my grandparents, I'm like, oh, you how do like they're like they're like you can you do this? It's like well, I would have thought they would have known. Right. It's like right. how come you don't know it? There's so a famous their saying. Their parents lost it was the ones that had it and didn't pass it on. Right. Yeah. Or they didn't right. want. There's, there's a famous saying that it takes two generations to wipe out something, right? So that's almost where we're at, right? So totally. This, that's why it's great that this. Because I look at like with our with our kids and stuff, it's like that's the thing. Because yeah. my grandmother, you know, did everything from right. scratch and all that. And your she mom, came from the so old much. country, and right. we, you know, yeah. I was raised like that. And then the kids, you just. My grandparents. It's important. Yeah. Their parents had a bakery, and I, I'm always fascinated by that. Because like in downtown, when everybody walks, I'll ask them questions about the bakery. They have no idea. And it's like I just find it fascinating. Like, oh well, how did this work? How did right. that work? And they just like, oh, we didn't, weren't interested in. Right. Kind of thing. Right. No, you're so right about that. It's amazing. That's why it's like ask questions. You know, you got to keep it going. Right. We got to let everybody see how we're learning and our mistakes, so they can grow and they can try different right. things. Right. That's why we don't want to have everything on like ebooks and all that. We want to have actual books yeah. in your hand. You know, in your right. hand because you know you never know with all that. Speaking stuff. of books, when are you guys coming out? <laughs> We're, 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 actually we are gonna try to work on them. Guys, we're busy. I mean, so I know, you, we're gonna try to get some books. Stacy wants to put a cookbook out, and we're gonna do it. What about a fermenting book? Yeah, it's gonna be all Well, that. it'll just be a cookbook with a yeah, lot of stuff. Yeah, like, With a lot of, like, yeah. recipes for everything. You guys heard it here first on Lumina Acres. That's We're gonna right. get them to do a book. And we're gonna do, book. we're gonna do like our, our kind of like our story in a book too. So that's, that's awesome. gonna be kind of cool. So yeah. we're excited about that stuff, and we're excited that people actually are interested in reading it. You know yeah, what I mean? Definitely. So it's a neat yeah, thing. Yeah, I said I finally got a three ring binder with lots of paper yeah. in it, and then I'm gonna be starting, because I wrote little journals all over, but I have to make it, you you know, gotta, yeah. organize yeah. it. Yeah. So, I'm getting somewhere. Perfect. Well, we'll let you guys get back to the other viewers. We don't want to hold you up all day. It was super cool hanging out with you guys. It was nice to meet you. We're glad you're liking your great chicken and pig adventures. And your ice cube. So thanks, guys. We'll let them get back to meeting the rest of you. We don't want to hold them up. Until next time, we'll see you right back here at Lumna Acres. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The button's down below. Hit the bell. And if you uh, don't follow them on Instagram, there's probably a link in the description box too. Hit that up. They do a good job putting out their Instagram posts. And check them. Go on over and check out Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. I'll leave a link to their channel down below. We dare you. <laughs> yeah, we dare you. See you guys.